yes, we've done it again. We found another absolutely spectacular spot to spend the night. So in the last video, we ended with rain and horrendous weather. We drove through the national park all day yesterday, just doing some editing and waiting for the weather to improve. Then we arrived here last night, quite late, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And we had an amazing sunset to top it off when we arrived. is awesome and it's all to ourselves again there's nobody around at all down there there's like a little old new modern monastery type thing um, with a water fill up and bins it's like a recreational area but you've just got beautiful views over the countryside and we haven't seen a soul since we arrived at 6 p.m. last night beautiful sunset beautiful sunrise this morning and all to ourselves Beauty of Sarah's cooking is you never know what you're gonna get. Literally, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> but the problem is you can't she can't produce. She's trying now to reproduce the same meal twice. I'm taking photos. Needs a little bit of tweaking. She would have added a few more ingredients, but unfortunately I drank the white wine last night. <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't added. Yeah, um, yeah, the plan is to go to Zaragoza. We're about an hour's drive away. We were gonna go first thing this morning. But because we arrived late last night here, and it's such a beautiful spot, we thought we'd just spend the, the morning here, have lunch, and then we're gonna head into the city a little bit later. But this stop, I mean, Park for Night app is, is awesome. We find, you know, 50-50, some Park for Night and some we just sort of, you know, find our own places. But it's such a great app because again, like Sarah's meals, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> you have a few photographs, but like this is like, a kilometre from the motorway. We were driving down a little lane thinking, oh God, where's this leading? And then it goes up and up a hill, and then you get this. Yeah. Stunning views over there. It's absolute, it's really, really nice. So although hard to leave this wonderful spot, we should really get packed up now and um, yeah, get into the city. And uh, so we've got a few hours this afternoon to have a look around Zaragoza. And the main reason we came is right behind us. It's the Basilica. One second. Wait one second. Right there, we'll cut wait the show. Wait there, wait there, wait there. It's the Basilica di Nuestro. Basilica di Nuestra. Nuestra, isn't it? Basilica di Nuestra Signora de Pierre. Do it again. It's the Basilica. It, it's, oh a my God. it's it's a big basilica. <laughs> As you can see, it's an immense building behind us. Uh, this is the main reason we came to have a look at this um, cathedral, yeah. cathedral basilica. And the fact that we can get in so easily. Yes. The cities are notoriously really difficult to get in. There's a huge ring road around Zaragoza. And we just come around the top. We're heading north anyway, so from the north we just beeline straight for this basilica and yeah. it's quite easy really yeah basically we've seen a, a park for night uh, we're not stay, probably not going to stay here tonight but we've seen a park for night which is literally just five or six minutes walk Maybe from seven. this exact location let's go inside we're not supposed to take photos we don't think and film we're not sure
just had a quick walk around this basilica. Quite impressive. I mean, it looks really impressive as you're driving into the city because the landscape or cityscape is quite flat, so you just see these four pillars. Yeah, it definitely looks better from a distance, but it's very, yeah, it's pretty it's cool. Nice inside though. Yeah, it's very nice. You've got all these, you like a little temples within a temple kind of thing, haven't you? Yeah. Those are different sections, but yeah, it's nice, worth coming in for. But unfortunately, you can't go up the towers. That would have been nice. We would have had a beautiful view over the city. And then that's all you would have had to do. Yeah, we would have had to cycle around. So Nick's going to go for a little cycle and check out a bit of the old town now. Um, I'm going to go back to the van because um, I'm still taking it easy. It's still only a week and a half since the injury. So, so, um, so it's hopefully not going to get lost on the five minute walk back to the van. I've got my set nav, don't worry about that. Because <laughs> I'm hopeless on my own. So yes. But we'll see you back at the van a little bit later on. So yeah, Zaragoza yesterday, not bad, quite a nice city. The architecture is a little bit different to other places we visited in Spain. It's like a blend of Gothic and and kind of Islamic, like yeah, um, a bit different. Loads of urban graffiti all over the city. So obviously with every city it's got a few main attractions and with Zaragoza the main attraction is the Baroque style. Nuestra Senora de Pilar Basilica, which is just off the river. So you've got stunning views from the modern bridge and then this old bridge, which is really nice. Um, and then that's sort of on the main square. And then you've also got a uh, 11th century Moorish palace and the Cathedral of the Savior, which was begun in the 12th century. And then there are other nice old buildings dotted around. So it is worth a stop off if you can get in easily enough to it. So now, another park up. Not quite as nice as the park up before Zaragoza. Um, it's kind of a, um, an unfinished housing estate, but it's safe, it's clean. It's got a little sort of nature park and weird little rocky stone building down there. But yeah, it's all well lit up and um, yeah, it's totally fine. It's about half an hour or less outside Zaragoza, so it's convenient. What are we doing today, babe? Yes, good morning. Well, today we are going to Huesca. Huesca. Yes, it's about half an hour drive from here. So about, you know, 50 minutes or to an hour from Zaragoza north. And I guess it's probably only about an hour and a half or so from the border into France. So the plan is to go to Esca. It's not that big a city. It looks quite nice. So depending on the size of it, Nick will go off for a cycle or whatnot. But we've also got some little missions we want to get done in Spain before we head into France. Um, just some shopping and stuff, because obviously France is more expensive, some grocery sh shopping, stock up a bit. We've got laundry to do, just odd bits and bobs that we need to do before we cross the border. Plus, in the surrounding area sort of north from Huesca to the border there's lovely national parks and we've seen quite a few things by googling that we want to kind of have a little drop by and visit on the way like swimming pool swimming holes natural swimming holes and gorges and things like that so we're going to pop into the tourist information in Huesca and hopefully find out where's the best places to see en route into France. now yes we are Huesca is it Huesca Huesca or Huesca um, 
Yes, and it's actually really, really lovely, isn't it? Really, really chilled. Compared with Zaragoza yesterday, it's just got a nice, relaxed vibe about it. It's really quiet. Yeah, I mean, it's only a small city. It's um, 50,000 just over. 52,000 people. Yeah, so it's quite small, uh, very relaxing, very helpful people in tourist, tourist information mm. centre, and very nice toilets in there too. Um, yes, and now we're just outside this stunning building, which is the cathedral, Huesca Cathedral. Yeah, it's, it's really nice though, like the whole, the whole old city centre, or where we've been is all pedestrianised, isn't it? Yeah, you can go around, walk around everywhere, nothing's um, too far away. Nothing's yeah. too far away. children. <laughs> no joking. It runs parallel to the old part of the city and it's really really pretty. There's loads of different sections and you've got this funky little coloured house and random little sculptures dotted around. Yeah it was a really nice stop off of Wesco. We've got some things done. Hopefully we're going to get the rest of our tasks done and it's just a perfect pretty little city to go and explore for a few hours. So our favourite day of the month, laundry day. Two big bags full. And the laundry is literally just, I don't know, about 50 metres that way. So yes, that's what we're doing for the next hour and a half, perhaps. And it's raining, grey. So yes, at least we got to see the city today before this terrible weather started happening. So I'm going to go there now and do the laundry. Watching. hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video Bye.